cautiously optimistic about where we stand. As the COVID-19 positivity rate continues to drop in the city, the mayor's office announces a partnership between the city health department, MedStar Health, LifeBridge Health, and Johns Hopkins to provide mobile vaccine clinics to the communities that need the help the most. This includes taking special care to ensure that older adults and our black and brown communities who are most susceptible to the virus and the least likely to have access to the internet and transportation can be vaccinated. As an example, MedStar Health's mobile unit was out at senior living communities in Cherry Hill last week, vaccinating close to 100 vulnerable seniors. The city's health commissioner says the only thing hampering an all out effort is supply. With the help of our healthcare partners, older adults and many Baltimore City independent and assisted living facilities, nursing homes, as well as those experiencing homelessness and living with disability, can look forward to receiving the coronavirus vaccine directly where they live in the weeks to come. Dr. Duraza says by summer they hope to have up to 20 mobile units out in the field, giving thousands of doses each day. And speaking of supply, Mayor Scott also told reporters that he has reached out to Johnson & Johnson and Baltimore drug maker Emergent Biosolutions, requesting to pay for 300,000 doses of the J&J &J vaccine. I believe that through this proposed partnership, Johnson & Johnson and Baltimore City can show a commitment to equity and efficiency in vaccine distribution in a way that is unprecedented across the U.S. Now more on this Johnson & Johnson issue. After touring Emergent Biosolutions earlier today, Governor Hogan told reporters that the mayor's effort was, quote, a nice try, and then went on to say everybody would like to jump to the front of the line, but that's simply not going to happen. He went on to say neither the states nor the federal government can get around the process that's in place, unquote. If you'd like more information on vaccines in your area, we have some helpful links on our website, WBALTV.com, or on our mobile app. We're live in Northwest Baltimore tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.